Hey, Billy in Washington, D.C., thanks for waiting. Hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, I just want to say I love the show. You guys uh, do an amazing job at speaking with callers. Um, my, my, <laughs> well, we my, tend my, to go in circles sometimes, as you might have just seen. Yeah, no, but really, um, you guys are like sharp as a butcher's knife. I, I love the way you guys debate over, over the topics. But um, my, my, my question is, uh, in, in regards to years, that time, mm -hmm. you know, how, how years are constructed, but... Like for us, 400 A.D. and B.C. Like if if that if these events never happened, what are those years referencing exactly? Oh, see, okay. So first of all, it doesn't matter whether the events actually happened or not. That's completely irrelevant to the, to the dating system, uh, because mm -hmm. the dating system that we're currently using uh, came about much much later, and in you can pick any significant event or even a fictional report of a significant event. Like, for example, we could have started dating um, with uh, the date that uh, was described for the sinking of Atlantis, whether Atlantis existed or not. And we could have AA is after Atlantis and BA is before Atlantis. Uh, it doesn't matter whether that event took place or not. It, what matters is that we have drawn a line in the sand and we have gotten everybody to agree that this is how we're going to number things. It's not like there's some yeah. intrinsic numbers of the universe and the fact that it's, you know, 2014 uh, AD or CE, as yeah. uh, many people would prefer to use it, doesn't mean that it, it's in any way tied to the truth of, the, of Jesus existing or the events surrounding that being, being real. Yeah, I mean, it is the case that the, the calendar that we have, we have right now is, is called the Gregorian calendar. And so it was put together by the church. And it was actually introduced in, uh, in the late no. 1500s, 1582. And so, sure, those are, you know, so the people responsible for the calendar and the dating system that we use right now were people who believed, you know, I guess in Jesus' actual existence and in the time that he was supposed to have been born. And they decided to pick that as kind of the benchmark for, you know, where does year zero happen and we go either way from there. Uh, but again, you know, you look at uh, other, other cultures and other, other calendars uh, which exist. And uh, there are a great many of them out there. Um, you know, globally, internationally, it's it's most common. You know that uh, that we use the Gregorian now. But of course, if you know, you look at uh, there is a Chi Chinese calendar, and they have Chinese New Year, and, and their dates are different. And then yep. there is a, a Jewish calendar. Um, Tons so of yeah, calendars. so there's so there's actually loads and loads and loads of calendars, and it's a different year right now. It's not necessarily 2014 uh, to some people somewhere in the world. It's some other year. And, and actually, one of my favorite things from when I was a kid, and I don't remember where this came from. It could have mm -hmm. been like a, an Encyclopedia Brown thing or a Hardy Boys thing or who knows. Uh, but somebody was trying to sell coins uh, in the story, and they were like, the, the date listed on them was like 12 B.C., which, you know, <laughs> is, would be impossible. But the, the real epiphany for me would be also that if it said 12 A.D., that would also be impossible because the dating, the dating system that would have identified that year as 12 A.D. didn't come out, you know, for another what, 1,400 years? Or yeah, something, something like that, know. something, so. So basically there was a certain point of time where the, uh, I guess, the fee is put together. Yep. Well, specifically the, the Roman Catholic Church. Church, church controlled yeah. enough of the world to, right. and, and enough of the commerce that it just became a matter of efficiency for more people to recognize and use their calendar. Yeah. But uh, okay. anyway, just, uh, just a, a quick rundown. This is kind of interesting uh, factoid, right? Like right now in the Gregorian calendar, it's 2014. Um, in the... Uh, in the Islamic calendar, it's uh, 1435. In the um, let's see, in the Korean calendar, it's the year 4347. Uh, Coptic calendar, it's 1730. Uh, so these are a, a Hebrew calendar. It's the year 5775. Uh, right. So you know, as you see, um, we're which so, is just kind of weird. For, yeah. you know, since they has only been around for you know. So we're to 10, we're years. we're currently in the present, but we're also far in the future. So at the same time, <laughs> so it's kind of wild. So somebody yeah, asks you what year you were born in, it might be handy to have like five or six years ready to, to throw mm -hmm. in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. And, uh, <laughs> a, 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 another question I had was uh, the, as far as the uh, claims of the supernatural uh, movies, like uh, the, the, an older movie, The Haunting in Connecticut, um, mm -hmm. you know, they, they were saying that that was based on actual events, you know, where sure. you have these ghosts and stuff like that living in people's homes, um, how do they get away with saying that something actually happened if the supernatural cannot be proven? <laughs> they get away with it because they say based on actual events. Yeah. So, for example, um, you know, I could tell a story about that last caller um, and spin it any way I want to. 
that he managed to project himself through the telephone and come in and stab me in the neck repeatedly during that call because that's kind of what it felt like and then I can say it was based on actual events. Uh, yeah. It's just incredibly loosely based. Yeah. <laughs> the, based the other on thing is that you know, when you're talking by, about yeah. people, yeah. this is the story that somebody told me happened to them. And so no matter how outlandish I might think it is, it's not like I can prove them wrong. Right. Yeah, I wasn't there. I don't have a way to investigate it. And so I'm telling this story, and it has been portrayed to me as uh, based on actual events. Yeah. And this even goes on in movies that aren't about the supernatural, right? I mean, there's sort of an understanding that, uh, um, you know, anything in a movie is going to be pretty largely fictionalized uh, just for, you know, various necessary purposes or whatever reason, you know, in order to kind of get the story down within a two-hour time frame, right? So you can watch a movie like Malcolm X, or uh, you know any biography movie about a famous person, and a lot of that is going to be it's it'll be based on things that actually went on in his life, but it's going to be, you know, it's going to be truncated. It's going to be slightly fictionalized in order to kind of fit the movie storytelling medium, you know. To kind of so it's not you know you should never you know, consider it at, you know the, it's actual real, but they get away with it because people understand. It's it's right. a cinematic adaptation. It's it's inspired by, based on the real events, but it's. You know, it's largely storytelling. To kind of oh, dovetail yeah. off that, uh, last night uh, we, I watched one of my favorite movies about one of my biggest heroes uh, because my wife had never seen the film, and it's The People versus Larry Flint. Um, mm -hmm. And while there are things about Larry that I don't like, uh, he was and is a, a champion for First Amendment rights and, and a, just a straight-up hero in that regard, no matter what you think of the other things that he did. Um, mm -hmm. Now, we watched that, and my wife kept going, what? Because, you know, she wasn't familiar with a lot of the details of the story and the things that took place, you know, the posting the pictures, pictures of, of Jackie O and, mm -hmm. and engaging in uh, other things and, and blowing the whistle on, uh, providing the videotape for DeLorean and all this other stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Those are the facts. Now, the conversation that Larry and Althea had in the Hustler Club the night they met, um, we don't know if that's accurate, and yeah. it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, um, nobody was there recording it. Yeah. But also, you have to remember that a lot of the, the details about his personal life, you're hearing from Larry. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, while what, I what love the like, guy. What he'd like you to hear. Maybe, maybe <laughs> there's some embellishment there. Yeah. But, mm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hollywood anyway. gets away with lots of stuff. Anyway, well, thanks for yeah. calling, Billy. We appreciate yeah. it. All right, thanks. So long. Sure. Uh, All right.